I'm excited about the entire day. I'm excited to just live my regular life and do things that I would normally do, but to try them in a wheelchair. I'm also excited because my dear friend Gretchen has been in a wheelchair for 20 years of her life, and I want to be able to relate to her and know what it's really like for her. already and it wasn't that hard to get in. I'm excited about it and I'm excited to go to yoga. I think the thing I'm most excited about today to do with Gretchen is to go to yoga with her because you know it's, yoga is part of my everyday life and I was curious for myself to see wow if I were in a wheelchair could I still have this part of my life that's so important to me but I was also excited for it to be something for Gretchen to try you know being in a wheelchair for 20 years she's only been to one yoga class in her life that a friend of hers was teaching and I was excited for her to have this experience and to kind of make it safe for her that she could go to a yoga class and try it and not be embarrassed or afraid to look stupid or feel like she didn't belong there. I hadn't taken a yoga class before, but I've always felt intimidated to do something like that. Doing it with Rory was really good for me just to have a buddy to, to do it together and the teacher was so kind to give us poses that almost all of them I could do with the class. I was a little distracted today because I kept wanting to check and see like how's Gretchen doing? Is she loving it? Is she doing the poses too? Is she into it? Is she distracted? Is she giggling? What is it? It was really fun. Um, I had to get up to pee in the middle. Yeah and it took a little longer than usual, but it was fine. But getting my pants back on and my underwear back on when you're sitting was so down. hard. And I also was really grateful that it was like a clean toilet. I know, yeah. that bathroom was really nice. It's a yeah. clean toilet and like, as somebody who doesn't sit in a wheelchair who stands, like I don't sit in public toilets, I squat. And now, like as sit. somebody in a wheelchair, you have to you sit. Need those papers. So, so, I mean, let that be a lesson for people who like pee carelessly on yeah. toilet seats. Some people it's not can't nice to people squat. in wheelchairs. Yeah. Yeah. My first bathroom trip, it went pretty well. It was a little tricky pulling my underwear and my pants back up, I'm not gonna lie. I did it, and I didn't cheat. I was thinking about cheating because it was difficult, but I figured it out. You know, there was nothing like painful or emotional or challenging. You know, it was a fun day. I got to hang out with one of my best friends, go to a yoga class, and go to lunch. Just two girls rolling on, rolling on with the lunch. It's almost embarrassing that we're matching with matching matching wheelchairs. <laughs> I did get to experience that this is easy because I know at the end of the day I'm going to get out of the chair and all the things that I'm finding to be like slightly challenging or that take time, then I'm not going to have to put up with them again after today. I imagine also, I would think especially early on when somebody first becomes disabled and has to go from old life to new wheelchair life overnight that it probably really, it'd be really daunting to think about all of the millions of little changes that have to be made. But this we don't have a lid for, so this one I would honestly ask somebody else. You would? You wouldn't even do that? All right. No, not without a lid. Really? That makes me feel better and like, wow, what a challenging for the wheelchairs. They can't carry their own drinks without a What about the two of us together? Is there a team effort? Like, I think about my life and that no one else could handle it because it's really quite tough. It's fun because we're together, but I can imagine where I'm by myself and I'm having a bad day. Yeah. Yeah. If I was like, this is going to be the rest of my life every time this thing. I think talking to her beforehand, I had felt that one of my hesitations with this project, I think it came down to me not really wanting people to know how difficult it is. I don't want people to think that I have a hard life, you know? And um, I have a beautiful life, but, but it is physically, it's tough. 
I would think especially early on when somebody first becomes disabled and has to go from old life to new wheelchair life overnight that it probably really it'd be really daunting to think about all of the millions of little changes that have to be made. But I also have to say that even though I didn't get the full experience of being in a wheelchair that wow, as hard and bad as I thought it might be, I could do it. You know, it used to be the kind of thing when I was younger, I thought, oh, if I ever lost my legs or lost use of my legs, like I would die. And today I can say, I wouldn't die. I would do it. I'd be fine. I'd figure it out. And I'd still probably go to yoga. So I would challenge everybody else out there who's inspired or interested or curious to take the wheelchair for a day challenge themselves and see what it's like.